Okay, so this is the Kohler booth, and then right next door is our big mowing booth. So I'm gonna give you a pan of everything. You can see how big it is. Booth is pretty empty right now because we're before it's Thursday morning. But let's take a look at what our booth looks like. All right, so walking in, and this is our new product showcase right here. This is our new M-Core valve system, and we are displaying some of our new stacked M-Core with diverter trims. So we've got uh, Winford, we've got Belfield, Align, and then our separate uh, valves and trim as well. And then if we go around to the other side, here we are showcasing our new Colinet bath suite. So this has been really well received at uh, the show. Designers and showroom people are really loving this. But here's an example of how this new M-Core valve system works. So we lift up to turn on and then left and right for temperature. So this will be available on all showering platforms, PosiTemp, M-Core, and Exact Temp. Here's an example of our Exact Temp valve system. We have on display our widespread faucet in chrome, our single handle faucet in brush gold, and three hole Roman tub filler with cross handles in matte black. So, and then a full line of accessories. And one thing that is um, uh, a big deal for us and uh, is that we also have a four inch pull in this accessory set. I am told that that is something that designers request more often than not. So we have heard that request and uh, answered it. So I'll show you the Colinette suite just around the corner so you can see these uh, faucets in real living color in a bathroom situation. So here is this really beautiful vignette that they have set up. So we have our double globe lights, which are gorgeous. And we've got our wall mounted cross handle lavatory faucets. There's me in the mirror. And here is an example of those four inch poles, matching knobs. So gorgeous uh, vignette to see that colonnette in, uh, in a real bathroom setting. So in Lee, that is our aromatherapy shower. This has been really, really well received, you guys. Like everybody that sees it loves it. So here's kind of that wall of flowers. We've had the master perfumer here from France and he has been uh, having everybody give uh, a, a smell to these. So if you can see right here, We've got Best of KBiz 2020. So um, your, I would suggest if you have showrooms with working showers, when these are available to order, get one for their working showers because it really, you have to smell it, you have to kind of see how it works in order to fully understand it. But um, I'll take you over and kind of let you see what the actual hand showers themselves look like. So here's our example in Chrome. We have the brush nickel one as well. These are on magnetic hand showers, so really easy to come off. Here is the scent capsule right there. If you see this lever right there on the side, that controls the scent. So right there, we've got it at, at the zero. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. And then you can do intense smell, little intense, or just a little aromatherapy, and then five function hand shower with the, with the button right there. So like I said, people have been really, really excited about this. So um, I can't wait to actually try one out for myself. All right, so if we go around to the other side, this is showcasing our Nebbia by Moen and all of our new finishes. Um, this has been really well received as well. So this is the Nebbia right here. This is a retrofittable item, if you can remember, uh, right here where we, get, we would hook right into our existing uh, drop bell if we removed our, uh, or drop your 90, sorry, if we removed our existing shower arm. Magnetic docking station for our hand shower. And then 17 inches of play. So everybody of certain heights can certainly be able to use that as well. We can adjust our head up and down and side to side. <laughs> All right, so that is our uh, brush nickel. That is the matte black and chrome combination. We don't have the running shower going right now, but I'll show you over here kind of on our stage. We've got the white and chrome and then the all matte black. So the way that we have the booth set up is we have this running shower uh, during the show 
and then if you can see that hole through the glass so people can actually feel the spray pattern. Um, and that's been really uh, exciting as well. And take a look here. Editor's pick for KBiz from Good Housekeeping. Yeah, that's right, the awards just keep on coming. All right, so continuing on to our, on our new product showcase, we are showing the U by Moen Smart Faucets. And I gotta adjust my arm, guys, sorry, okay. All right, um, so here's an example of some of the smart faucets. Um, the do not touch, no one ever believes it, so that's one of those funny KBiz things. But, so we've got the Weymouth pull down, we've got the Patterson pull down, we've got the Neo pull down, Sleek, Stow, and a line. And we can show, I'll show you our little stage up here. So they have a working kitchen right in, right here in our booth. And you can see the, they're testing the faucet right now. And then it's like, like a cooking show. They've got a TV up above that's filming that. So when we have our, our hired talent up here demonstrating, it's really cool to have people watch and everything. So it's set up just like a little kitchen. And then they've got the huge example of, uh, of, the eye, of your iPhone so you can use the apps. We called that a Podzilla. And take a look, guys. Winner, best of KBiz for smart home technology. Pretty sure that's two years in a row. All right, here is our Sleek Suite expansion. So Sleek is now available with the pre-rinse in matte black and chrome. There's an example of the Sleek Motion Sense Wave in black stainless, our bar prep faucet in matte black, and then our remote uh, valve two-hole uh, kitchen faucet with pull down. Then we have an example of our single or one horsepower lighted disposal as well. This will be in the wholesale catalog, so available to order by our wholesalers and showrooms. All right, here is this beautiful new kitchen faucet. This is the Cinema. So we have it uh, on display on the new product uh, showcase or runway as we call it. So you can really see like that really pretty art deco detailing on the handle. So within the box of the Cinema, um, you'll get the kitchen faucet with the uh, alternate finish art deco handle they'll also receive if they don't like that like engraving or they think it's going to be too hard to clean they'll get a uh, transitional handle as well so we have that all shown here so there is our stainless steel pull down with the matte black art deco you can't really see the engraving on there but it is and then with the co uh, coordinating finish transitional handle here it is in the polish nickel, which I think it looks amazing. Then we also are showing the matching sip beverage faucet. So that just to let you know the sip beverage faucet, the handle is just going to be the same shape, but it doesn't have the art deco uh, detailing on it. And that handle will come out of the box with the matching finish of the, of the faucet. So there's our bar prep pull down with the, uh, with the uh, alternate finish handle as well. And there in the matte black, and the sip cinema or cinema sip in the matte black as well all right and then our final panel on the new product uh, runway is the weymouth patterson suite expansion so we are showcasing the weymouth and the patterson with that pre-rinse style spring so um, and then we also have an example of the patterson sip and you can see that detailing that matches on the patterson faucet and then as well as our Patterson soap dispenser. All right, then we have the cinema in a living suite. So this is our uh, suite that, um, like our little kitchen setup. So we've got our bar prep faucet right here. And we also have our sip beverage faucet, our kitchen faucet and our soap dispenser all right here. Um, I will tell you that those are real peppers and no one has stolen any or eaten any this year. However, last year somebody did, and I think somebody has really, like some person walking through the booth really did take one of these croissants and eat it, um, which is pretty funny. Uh, all right, so we'll go over to our uh, finish wall. And this is just uh, giving an example to our booth uh, uh, tourers of all the different finishes that we've come up with and, and how they've done that. So at the top we've got black stainless and then polished nickel and then we've got our brush gold offerings as well as matte black 
and stainless steel, SRS, spot resistant stainless, and then oil rub bronze. And I will tell you, I had a couple of builders uh, that came in that were really excited to see the sleek in oil rub bronze available. Good price point with the finish that their, their homeowners are asking for. So if you, if we look over here, this is just an example of all of our, our faucet extensions. So we've got the Cinema Standard pull down with the Cinema pre rinse, our Patterson, Patterson with the pre rinse, a line, and our Sleek. So it makes a pretty impressive faucet wall. And we're also showcasing our new granite sinks. So uh, I am told that we, you, I think Steve said that he's already received his color chips and uh, showroom should be receiving them as well. Example of some of our new stainless steel sink offerings right here, as well as our um, accessories within the sinks. So here is uh, an, a true uh, undermount double bowl whereas this single bowl is a universal mount. And we call it universal because you can either drop it in, it's got the lip, or you can undermount it. And if you see these little stickers right here, that's where our, uh, our scored pre or pre-scored holes are going to be. So if we were going to undermount it or drop it in, that's where those faucet holes would be drilled. And then our new packaging or labeling for our garbage disposals is, it, is uh, shown right here. So we've got the light, third horse, the prep half horse, the host three quarter horse, and then our chef garbage disposal at one horse. And it's also shown as the, as the light up version as well. All right, we'll go over and take a look at our uh, power boost booth that shows the small spray heads with the power boost. And I'm actually going to run this for you guys so you can see. So here is our line with the traditional pull down head and here's the align with the new power boost head and you can see that that's going to toggle from spray to stream and that's our power boost button so i'll show you guys how, what we do at the show how we show our how the power boost actually works all right so we'll do we'll do a little race here right i'm gonna see if i can do this one-handed all right so i'm gonna turn on our standard all right i'm gonna turn on power boost and then I'm going to hit the power boost button. Whoops. And you can see how, how much qu quickly that, that boost actually fills that up. Might not be the best video. Let's, I'll, I'll see if I can take a better one later where, where somebody else is filming and I can, and I can show you that. So, uh, funny, funny KBiz story. Uh, it was last year or the year before we had the same power boost uh, uh, station set up and somebody took one of the pieces of fruit from our display kitchen, washed it off in this water that has been recirculating for three days now and ate it. Now there's no evidence that they survived or didn't survive, but um, still think it's funny what people do at these booths. So side note. All right, here is our Flow by Moen vignette. And this is really cool. We've got another big pretend iPhone or Padzilla. This also is able to show uh, customers how what happens when uh, we have a catastrophic leak behind the wall with, with the um, pipe right there. We've got our Flow right here. And then a, an example of our new uh, smart water detector. We've got a little um, we've got a situation where we've got like a under the sink, right? So we've got a P-trap and we've got um, our cabinet base right there. I don't, it's not really wet, so I don't think I can set off the alarm for you guys. Um, but this is what it looks like. So here is the smart water detector. And at the end of its cord is this little, this little puck, right? And then it sits in there. And if there were, if there was moisture, that's that smart water detector would be beeping it had the this little light right here goes red whoops sorry i'm not the great greatest photographer here so that little light goes red and it makes an audible uh, beeping noise so that's how you know if there is uh, some moisture detected and that can work with your flow or it can work all by itself so we also show our inch and a quarter flow our one inch flow and our three quarter inch, as well as our power supply, battery backup, our two uh, spacer kits, and the smart water uh, detector. P 
people are loving this and it's really cool to be able to show them all the different sizes that we have available now. All right, I'm gonna walk you over to our U by Moen Smart uh, faucet. I'm gonna see if I can get this to actually work for you. It is really cool and it's been really fun to see people's expressions at the booth when they see how this faucet works. So this faucet works in uh, like three different ways essentially, right? It works as a mechanical faucet. So I'm gonna turn the water on there. It also works as a traditional like motion sense faucet, right? So I can wave my hand over the, the sensor and it turns it on and off. And then it also works uh, using our voice. So I'm gonna see if this, if I can get this to work for you. So I'm going to use the Google Assistant that we have right there to tell this faucet to give me a tablespoon of water, right? Here's my tablespoon measurement. So key, key features, it can dispense up to as small amount as one tablespoon of water up to 15 gallons. So that's pretty cool. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna say, hey Google, tell Moen to dispense one tablespoon of water. Here's Moen. Wave over sensor to dispense one tablespoon now. Whoops, okay. I, get, I think I've gotta do this. I need, I need, I need three hands to do this. All right. Hi. All right. So we're going to try this again. Um, I'm going to use a, a bigger, a bigger measure. Cause that you just saw that little, that little blip of water come out. All right. Hey Google, tell Moen to dispense one cup of water. Getting Moen. Wave over sensor to dispense one cup now. All right. So Pretty accurate if I would have had the, the measuring cup actually underneath the faucet exactly. But how cool is that, right? So a couple of things to note um, about our smart kitchen faucet compared to uh, other manufacturers' voice activated faucets. So our handle position can be in any position. It can be open, it can be at hot, it can be at cold. It will still, using our voice, dispense the exact amount of water at the temperature that we request. Uh, the other thing to note is because it is powered by batteries, we're not, uh, we're not interfering with the outlet underneath the, the cabinet. And here is the key thing that I think is uh, a great selling point against um, our other, other manufacturers, mainly uh, Delta, is that when our batteries run out, um, and those lithium ion batteries last about two years um, with regular, you know, like normal everyday use, our faucet will still work as a mechanical faucet. Delta's faucet, that's battery powered, if, it, if the batteries run out, now you just have a really big non-functional paperweight on top of your countertop. It won't, your, that faucet will not work in any way, mechanical or otherwise. So that's something to keep in mind and something to educate your customers and your showrooms about. So, that is our U by Moen Smart Kitchen Faucet. And like I said, any, everybody in the booth that um, has come through and have, has seen it in action um, has been really, really impressed. Like literally like you can see like their face go, what? Um, here is uh, how the new Moen app is going to look to control all of our devices. This hasn't launched yet, but this will look, be what uh, the app looks like in the future. So you can see that we've got all of our smart water technologies in one place. So I can control my flow, my kitchen faucet, and my U by Moen shower uh, right there on, from one app. And this is really cool. So if you go into the app for the kitchen faucet, it has usage of how much water was used yesterday, and it also has presets. Now you say, well, what, why do I need presets? But it's been pretty clever to see, and I'll use this for you, those of you with, with children or, and, and babies, but how handy this would have been. So if I have my baby bottle right there, now I can say something just as easy as this. Hey Google, tell Moen to fill baby bottle. Let's get mowing. First I will run the water to temperature. Wait for the water to stop. 
When the light is solid, you can wave over sensor for 8 ounces of water at 85 degrees from kitchen faucet. Okay, so it's still preheating, right? Just like a warm up and pause on our U by mowing shower. That's the light flashing, and it's heating up the water. I've got to unplug the sink, I think. It's still heating. We still see it flashing, so it's coming up to temperature still. This might. Okay, all right, so see it warmed up and paused, solid light. Now I can put the baby bottle right underneath, wave my hand over the sensor, and that's filling up our preset amount at our pre preset temperature. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so I'm gonna take you around. I hope you're not getting too dizzy with my camera skills here. So here is our U by Moen shower vignette. So we have everything set up. Again, you guys, it's so cool here because everything is seriously plumbed, right? Like, look at all this stuff. Like, it's even heated and plumbed like you just saw over there. But here I've got my U by Moen a four port controller in black. So I'm gonna, I can hit power on and you can see everything coming on. We've got our rain head going. You can see it heating up to temperature. I can choose my outlets. This is such a great uh, example to be able to show customers. And then, oh, there we go, our shower's ready. I'm gonna turn it off for you guys. And then we are also showing that all three digital assistants are now compatible with our U by Moen. So we've got Alexa, we've got Google, and we've got Apple Home or Siri. So pretty exciting uh, way to show our customers um, that we have smart home technology in the kitchen, in the shower, and protecting our whole home. All right, so right, so I'm at the edge of our booth. And right next door to us is the House of Roll. So there's some really cool Victorian Albert tubs and they've got some new faucets. So they've got a pretty swanky booth too. That's the NKBA booth that's on the other side of us. And then we're back into the Moen booth and just showcasing some of our newest finishes. So there we have the Weymouth and matte black, Flora and brush gold, Dew and matte black, and hey guys, check that out i know you're going to be excited as me and i know your showrooms are going to be excited yes you're seeing it correctly that's the magnetics in matte black and according to all reports this will be shipping in june so that's something i know our customers have been asking for so that is exciting to be able to share with them and all of this stuff because it's at the show the cat's out of the bag you can share it with anybody there is our aging in place with style jason i think you're going to enjoy this uh, but look, just look how gorgeous those grab bars look. They don't even look like grab bars. And all of those are ADA compliant, rated up to 250 pounds when they're installed with our secure mount. All right, so M-Core, right? So this is pretty cool. This is, again, you guys, they, this booth, is they do such a good job here. So all of these are functional and plumbed. But this is a great way to be able to show how our new M-Core shower technology works. So here we have our standard Moen Troll-esque, and I'm using that in um, quotation marks, but here is standard M-Core valve. So again, we're gonna lift up to turn on, and you can see that that turns on our shower head right there, and then left and right to adjust the temperature. Here we have our an example of the stacked valve, right? With that same M-Core technology, I'm gonna lift up to turn on, and that activates that. I'm gonna move my diverter, to position two and if you see now i have my fixed head and my handheld running at the same time i'm going to turn my diverter one more time and that gets my other discrete function and this is that's what we, this is what that is showing right there so option one both on at the same time just function one all by itself and then we have our new six or three discrete six shared function diverter right here so i'm going to turn our m core valve on right there and that's going to activate our rain head right there so that's function number one all right now if i turn my diverter so i'm at six o'clock right now so if i turn it one click to the left now that activates our hand shower we have our fixed head and our hand shower running at the same time one more click to the left 
is going to just let the handheld run at this at, by itself. One more click, that activates these two functions. You can see that. I'm at 12 o'clock now on my diverter. If I do another click, that just activates that function all by itself. One more click, I'm turning it now to three o'clock on the, on the face. Now I've got my rain head and that head running. And then if I go back down to six o'clock, just my overhead is running. And then I'm gonna turn my water off. So it's a, the booth is so fun to be able to take people through because it really does show how everything works. We also have um, a couple of different other hand showers that they can see the functionality or spray pattern of. And then we also have our U by Moen here as well so people can see how it works on the keypad and then also how it works with the app on the phone. Here's a really good storyboard of the M core behind the wall and how that gets plumbed our three functions. So we've got a fixed head, a rain head, and a handheld, and all controlled by that new M-Core valve and diverter. I'm gonna take you over here. This is, so the, the plumbers really like this section, right? So this is showing all of our, our new valves. So that's our, our M-Core valve with the CPBC connections. That's our stacked uh, with the M-Core valve and the diverter with copper. There we have our PosiTemp valve with uh, PEX and the uh, um, tub deal, tub deal, listen how professional I sound, uh, with the plumb for the, the tub spout already. And then here we are showing the new M-Core valve uh, with the uh, new M-Core diverter stacked. And this is, this is a big deal because you can see that both valves are installed flush to the plywood and that both uh, inlet and outlet, so the out, top outlet for the M-Core valve and the bottom inlet for the diverter are all in one line, so uh, plumbers don't have to uh, uh, warm up that pipe and bend it in order to get those to line up. So that is something that the trades are really gonna appreciate, um, and already uh, we've gotten some good feedback from uh, some of the uh, booth tours. So, um, and then what you see how we do this wall is we showcase all of our valves. So here are the new M-Core valves and our PosiTemp uh, uh, prefabs. Then we go into our different, um, for tub fillers, right? So that's the, the in-floor uh, uh, rough-in for our tub fillers. Roman deck, our Roman tub fillers, our wall-mounted lavatory faucet. Then we've also got our body sprays, our U by Moen valves, the e-cartridge, our stacked posi, regular posi, and our exact temp. But it tells a good story on this valve wall, and you can, and it's great for the trades to be able to see everything that we do and, and can touch and feel. And then right behind this is our kind of single handle lavatory showcase. And this is just just eye candy for everybody. But again, how cool is this? It's plumbed. Everything in this booth, it just amazes me that it's like, it's a, it's a, we just popped up a showroom for three days. So we've got all of these. It's great to be able to show um, different styles, different, um, different finishes. And then we've got our freestanding tub filler. So here, you guys, seriously, look at this. Bellfield and Polish Nickel, gorgeous. Here is the new Colinette freestanding tub filler in chrome. Next to that, we have our Winford Flora in brush gold, 90 degree in chrome, and the Dew in matte black. The other thing that's really cool to show is we also show how it's the two different mounting styles. So we've got the concrete mounting kit right here that, that homeowners and plumbers and builders can see. And then we also have the floor joist mounting style right there as well and then finally we've got our wall of single uh, modern single handle lavatory faucets over here showcased um, because we've come out with so many different modern styles uh, lately so it's this is a really nice wall to take some people to um, to show them all of the different options they have and different price points. And this has been, this has been actually pretty nice to show some of the builders um, asking like, hey, what's that Align actually look like? What's Genta look like? So we have those here, and then we also have those over there as well. And that guys is our booth. I hope that this gave you a little insight as to 
what we've been doing the last three days. Um, again, this is pretty exciting. Show's about to get started here in about a half hour. So we've got people coming in and out. Um, but again, Inley, we've won a couple of, a couple of prizes. So that's super cool. I, I just love this best of K biz. So um, if you, I'll just take you around over here. You can see, we'll end right at that Nebbia shower again. I don't think it's running. Um, and I don't want to mess up anything in case they're getting the, in case they're getting the pumps ready or, or what. So, all right, guys, I'm signing off. Hope this was helpful, or at least gave you an idea of what uh, what KBiz is and what and what it looks like and what we do here for three crazy days. So, I will uh, I'll see you back in the PNW. I got one more eight-hour shift in the booth to go, and uh, see you guys soon. Have a great day.